Good one. Put here, your hands on the way higher, and you are like a tree. Balance and pose. Your leg has a balance on both sides, then you do the opposite side. Put your other foot here, in a balancing pose, and goes way higher, and you balance yourself. Daily practice is a trigonasha. You spread yourself, triangle pose, you start on your one side first, you put your one hand down, and other hand high up. Yoga is a balance to the opposite side also. <laughs> and you come together and you learn sitting down in our hill called Bhajrasana. It is a powerful answer, keeps our spine straight and it's a very proper for digestion. We do two ashes here called Mandogasha or frog pose and Ushkrasha or camel pose. With your hands here, slowly you go down as far as you can. This is very good for people with diabetes and people who had a back pain. Slowly you get up, sit down, the powerful asana for the Arthur and Swayandra asana or spinal twist. This is for low back pain. You take your one foot on the left of the side. If it is on the left knee, put your left hand to the back. Then you put your right hand on the other side, touch your foot, then look straight higher, look all the way to the back. Slowly come back, do also the opposite side. Do on the other foot crossing. If it is right, right hand goes to the back, then the left comes other side of the knee, holds your foot, take a deep breath in, and look all the way to the back. Come back slowly now, then we do face down and face up. And face down, we go all the way on the back, and the two muscles we do, put your glasses. Cobra pose and Thanurasana Mo pose. In a Pujangasana, get up like a cobra and then you come down slowly. Then you turn yourself on the left side. We get into the mat. First asana we do is a power loop asana on the knee chest. Bend down the knees, bring it up to our nose, touch the knee with the nose. Slowly we come down, then we do a Sarvangasana Hasan. We get ourselves all the way high up in a Sarvangasana and slowly come down in a Halasana or a Pa. On a Halasana, we come all the way down and we stay here as long as we can. Slowly come back high up, we get into the Sarvangasana and the Pa's Pope. Keep our feet separated. On the side, palm facing high up, just breathe normally and relax. We do all the asanas, relax our body so we can do pranayam, the breathing exercise. We get up from laying down, we sit down, then we turn around and sit down in a padmasana. We locus pose, then we start doing our pranayam. The first pranayam is called the Pastika pranayam. We raise our hand high up, take a deep breath in, and then breathe out. We do about 15 counts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, relax. It clears your whole blood. It brings out all the toxins and bring more oxygen in. Next we do Malikapal Bhati Pranayam. It is all the exhalation and 
and there is your inhalation. You do from your stomach. We'll do about 25 counts. It improves your respiratory function. It cleans up all the carbon dioxide, brings more oxygen in. Next pranayam is called alternate nostril breathing for the low below pranayam. You close your right nostril, breathe through your left nostril in, close your left nostril and breathe out your right nostril breathing out. We'll do about five of this. Breathe in through one nostril. Breathe out to the other nostril. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. This balances your both half of the brain. Left nostril is controlled by your right brain. Right nostril is controlled by your left brain. It provides the equal function for your brain. Left we are going to breathe We create a frequency, and that frequency has the same frequency as the brain. It keeps our mind completely quiet. We close all of our sensory functions. Close our ear, put our index finger in the forehead, close our eyes, we breathe out first, take a deep breath in, and breathe out with the sound of your feet. Mm. One more time.
Open your eyes slowly, rub your hands together, and give the generator a lot of heat. Once it is heated, you put it over your eyes, face, and massage your eyes, face, neck, and whole body to the powerful yoga gesture. We'll finish by again sitting on a squatting pose and getting up and putting in a Namaskar Mudra. I just want to tell you, yoga is for everybody. We have a participants from 7 years old to our 88 years young. Nobody gets 88 years young. The participants are here, press for them. Abha Gupta, Vikram Kohli, Esha Chaudhary. There is our famous auntie, Auntie Sadhguru Mahotra, 18 years young. There is Pravashi Pradesh, Dr. Sagana Chakraborty, and Dr. Shilpa Baba. Thank you for your attention. Do yoga every day. Thank you.